up guys I'm um, here in the shed at home um, I've just been to town gotten all the stuff I need to do to finish off this box or the wiring of this box um, I've taken the front wall out I've just mounted my 25 amp uh, red up charger put remove uh, refitted the fuse box uh, I'm about to start wiring up and I've been to town and grabbed all the Anderson plugs I need heat shrink um, and everything I need to hopefully fingers crossed get this thing wired up this afternoon uh, if not I'll definitely get it done this weekend because I've got nothing else to do since we all got to stay home uh, yeah I'll get it done and show you all I'll show you what I've done just quickly uh, it's getting pretty dark outside so I'll try to show you before it gets too dark uh, I'll go down here so I've run the cables from the starter battery main battery down under the cab up to this alternator earthed it out on the chassis as well uh, you can't really see, I'll show you tomorrow, but it goes in through the canopy there. It comes out through here, so this is my main main power. I've got power and earth to that. I'm in the middle of wiring everything up now. So I'll uh, do my best in showing you how to do it. Yeah. So a quick run through of what I've done. Uh, I'll flip her over and show you first. <coughs> okay, so charger's mounted. Fuse box mounted. Um, I've run the earth to the fuse block. Put it back over. Now, this earth to the fuse block. This is from the battery charger. There will be an Anderson plug on the end of that. Um, just so I can easily remove this board if I ever need to. Um, but yeah, red goes to from your main battery to your charger. Yellow is for solar. Brown goes to your auxiliary battery. Black is earth. Blue connects to the ignition power. Green uh, is the option for uh, an optional LED, so if you want to have an optional uh, voltmeter, I suppose. And then orange, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is how you set what voltage you want your charger to charge to. So if you want um, 14.6, 15, and 15.6, I believe, um, depending on what battery you want, then you can have it set to lithium as well. Uh, so I'll keep walking, keep going and show you how I do it and what I do. Righto, so basically what I'm doing um, through this clip here where I'm sped up, um, I'm just going through and running wires from each switch uh, through to the fuse block. Uh, I'm soldering and crimping them all as I go uh, because that fuse block is the main power for the system. I've got power coming straight from the auxiliary battery to that fuse box, so that's where I get every, all the power for everything. Uh, I run the power for the USB and the SIGI port. Uh, I join the battery charger into everything, so I hook the uh, cable going from the charger to the auxiliary battery, hook the cable for the solar through, uh, getting it ready to join the solar. Uh, I earth it out, earth everything out. Um, what I've done behind it is I've made a common earth behind it for when I get my shunt because the shunt for the battery monitor becomes the new earth, uh, so to speak. Um, it is. It looks pretty messy in the video. It is still pretty messy at the moment. I have to go over everything and tidy it all up. Um, but otherwise, it, it all came up pretty well. Um, like I said, soldered everything, encrypted it all um, because that'll reduce the... Uh, resistance I think it is through the line so everything will travel a bit smoother. I ran power for the fridge down to the Anderson plug at the bottom there and I also ran the leads down to another Anderson plug next to the fridge plug uh, to join up into the battery box. Uh, the reason I've done that is um, I wanted to have that wall uh, fully removable so if I ever wanted to change anything or pull it out I could do so with these so everything um, is on Anderson plug so I can all just unclip and I can pull it out and change it up or clean it up or um, add or take out uh, things from the system um, but yeah the only thing that I don't show in this video is the circuit breakers because I didn't get any I forgot them um, I did however put a 40 amp fuse in there uh, just for the time being just to make it safe I guess you'd say uh, but the circuit breakers are on the way as soon as they get here they'll be going in um, but other than that, that's basically all the wiring that I've, I've done. Uh, the only thing, other other thing I didn't show was the lights on the roof. Uh, they're already in the canopy, um, so I've just plugged, wired them in as I went. 
And yeah. All right, oh, I'm back up in the shed, just finishing off everything. I've um, very dodgily wired it up just to test everything. Um, USB's working, Siggy's working, lights are working, or switches are working. Um, fuse block has all power. I haven't um, provided power to that because that's the auxiliary battery, so this uh, charger doesn't pick up any power from that battery. Um, everything's right to go. I've just got to put an Anderson plug on this. That's the power coming from the main battery. I've put, hang on, I'll come around. I've sort of decided where to mount the solar panel. Just got to secure it. That's just a 110 watt Ridge Rider solar panel from Super Cheap. Um, I'm gonna get another one when I get my clamshell tent and I'll have uh, 200 water up on the tent and that one. So I'll have 300 watt, 310 water solar. Um, so yeah, all I've got to do now is Anderson plug that, wire up the battery box, throw the wall in and make sure it all works pretty schmick. And then we're ready to go. Oh, I've had a big day in the shed. Um, getting everything done. I've got the wall in. Uh, I won't show you what's behind it at the moment. Um, just because it's still, I haven't cleaned it all up. I've still got to wait for my battery monitor to get here and my inverter and all that before I tidy everything up. Um, but everything's working. Lights are on. Bloody rippers. Uh, battery box is a goer. I've got to get the fridge in, plug it in. Um, I'm currently in the process of mounting the solar panel. Um, but yeah, it's all gone pretty well. It hasn't taken as long as I thought, so it's not bad. What's up, guys? I've just been up to the workshop because my Victron battery monitor has rocked up. Um, so we're going to give a crack of installing it. I'll show you where she's going to go. I have to pull this wall out, um, drill a hole, put her there because that's where she's going to go. Uh, I'll have to mount the shunt behind the wall, um, but it's a lot bigger and a lot heavier uh, than I was expecting, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be able to go where I wanted it to. Um, but I'll pull it all apart and get her in and give you a, a look at how it goes. I've got to wire it in and wire it up. Um, as you can see there, you've got uh, the voltage and whatnot. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to go through all this, so I won't go through it um, in too much detail. But yeah, that's the v current voltage of the battery, uh, what the fridge uh, is currently drawing and all the other accessories are drawing. So if I turn the lights on, that'll go up or down because it's drawing more out of the battery. Uh, it goes right through the watts. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I still have to do a bit of reading and whatnot. I'm guessing that's 99.3% uh, charged. I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing it means I've got six hours left. I, I don't know. I have to, once again, I have to go over and double check. I've got all the settings right. I think that's the temperature, but it's not set yet. And yeah, back to voltage. Um, so it's in. Um, just running it all, making sure everything's pretty right. Like I said, I've got to go through everything and make sure it's all uh, pretty schmick. I don't think I've got a couple of the settings um, set right yet. Um, so I'll go through that and get it all right before I put everything back together and do it all. I still have to mount the shunt. Um, I haven't found anywhere to put it yet. Uh, but yeah, everything's going pretty well. I've just finished the install. There's the monitor there. Currently sitting at... Oh, she's dropping because I've just turned the car off. Uh, it was charging at 14.2 volts and she's now dropping. As you can probably hear, the fridge. She's going flat out because it was sitting at 20 degrees. Uh, it's got it set to minus two, so she's crank it along um, I've mounted the shunt here because there was nowhere behind the wall to mount it it's too big um, I'll see how it goes because obviously these are earth so if anything ends up coming in contact with them it could stuff it up uh, I don't think it will because the fridge is there most of the time to protect it um, but if anything ends up messing with it I'll build a little box for it um, but yeah that's about it that's about her guys I thought I'd do one last little video for this um, wiring video <laughs> i guess um everything's uh going pretty schmick all the lights work i've only got one switch hooked up everything's working i've got my monitor up here tells me everything uh, the voltage and whatnot charge is a goer fridge is a goer everything behind there is a goer um i'll come around here real quick because i've made a battery box uh just uh it's like that pretty basic my battery there it's on charge at the moment um, i'm trying to make sure that everything on that 
uh, Victron monitors working right and everything's um, schmick, so I'm just giving it a good charge. I've made the hold down bracket uh, so I can have two batteries in there. I'm fairly certain that this Optima yellow top is just about had it, so I'm gonna buy two giant AGMs, uh, two 90 amp hours, so that'll give me 180 amp hours. Um, so that'll just sit in there like so, pretty schmick. Um, it's just starting to rain, so I'll wrap her up pretty quick. Um, but yeah, all I've got left to do on the wiring side of it all is I will be putting another light up here um, for the barbecue, so that I'll have a light show of the barbecue. I'll be putting an awning light in when I get the new rooftop tent up there. Um, I'll put power up into the tent uh, when I wire the inverter in, that'll all go on that back wall, and then I'll be wiring the coffee machine in, the pie oven in, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I won't really cover any of that, I guess. I might throw something up on my Instagram story or on the Instagram page. Um, but yeah, that's the main wiring of the canopy done. Um, if you've liked the video, throw us, a, throw us a like, give us a subscribe, head over to the Instagram, give that a follow. Uh, we appreciate all the support we can get. Um, and if you've liked it uh, or if it's helped you, um, then yeah, give us a like and comment below and whatnot. And if there's anything that you'd like to see, uh, let us know. I'm sure we can help help you out in, in some way or throw something up. Um, keep an eye out for our next adventure. That's going to be a big one. Um, as soon as this quarantine's over, we've uh, it's definitely going to be flat out. It's definitely going to be flat out. Um, but yeah, thanks heaps, guys.